BYD once again gave us a big surprise. According to SNE research data, in July, BYD once again surpassed LG New Energy and won the second place in the world with 6.4 GWh of power battery installed capacity. And LG New Energy, whose loading volume fell by 38.9% month on month, has long lost its high spirits at the time of its IPO. It is worth mentioning that the Chinese battery companies on the list have achieved a considerable month on month growth. Chinese battery manufacturers led by CATL have accounted for 62.2% of the global share. Why are Chinese battery companies developing so rapidly this year? Well, there is no doubt that the strong strength of China's power batteries is inseparable from the booming new energy vehicle industry in China. According to reports, China's new energy vehicle sales in the first half of this year have reached 2.6 million, a year-on-year -year increase of 115.58%. As of the end of June, China's new energy vehicle ownership has exceeded 10 million, accounting for 3.23% of the total car ownership. The increasing penetration rate of new energy vehicles in China has driven the entire power battery market to a higher level. But on the other hand, judging from the performance of LG New Energy and Panasonic, it seems that the global market for new energy vehicles has not progressed as fast as imagined. So, what difficulties did they encounter? Is there really no obstacle to the development of China's new energy vehicle market? Hi! Welcome to Auto Age. Before we started today's video, Please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. OK, let's get started. As for the top 10 list of global vehicle loading of power batteries, Japanese and Korean battery manufacturers occupy four seats. However, except for SK on LG New Energy, Panasonic and Samsung SDI all experienced a month-on-month -month decline. The international market is far more complex than the Chinese market. Whether it is the EU's Carbon Tariff Act or the US's Inflation Reduction Act, there are restrictions on foreign power battery manufacturers. But I have to admit that, even in the European and American markets, the situation of China, Japan and South Korea's three powerhouses has not changed. In the power battery market, scale advantages tend to be further transformed into cost advantages. It is precisely for this reason that those pioneers, like CATL, gradually built solid barriers. When faced with such a high wall, even Tesla, the big catfish, is also helpless. As the price of upstream raw materials continues to soar, the cost of power batteries has begun to be sky-high. At the World Power Battery Conference, Guangzhou Automobile Group Chairman Zhang Qinghong said, the current cost of power batteries has accounted for 40%, 50%, or even 60% of new energy vehicles, so am I working for the CATL? In the face of the rapidly rising price of power batteries, it is not as easy for OEMs to untie them. Even the 4680 battery, which Tesla relies on to make breakthroughs, has problems. According to Reuters, because the dry coating process in cell production has been delayed in mass production, Tesla's 4680 cells have been in small batch production. Also because the output is too small, the 4680 battery's original role in greatly reducing battery costs has also been further weakened. What is the dry coating process? Simply put, it is a process technique that is different from the traditional one in the production process of power battery electrodes. It has the characteristics of low production cost and high production efficiency. Musk has said that the process has helped Tesla cut costs by a third and cut the plant's footprint and energy consumption to one-tenth of the wet process. However, it seems that Tesla's 4680 mass production technology has not really matured. Reuters quoted people familiar with the matter as saying, 
Tesla can do small batch production, but once it increases production, it will encounter very many problems, too many. In other words, no matter how powerful the 4680 battery technology is, it is in a dilemma due to the immaturity of the manufacturing process. The reason why Tesla chose to introduce BYD's blade battery is not only against the CATL, but also for this reason. Of course, the technological innovation of power batteries does not necessarily have to rely on Tesla to complete. Power battery companies such as CATL are the real innovative force. Here in battery, blade battery, short blade battery, one-stop battery. Chinese battery manufacturers seem to be more willing to innovate the structure of the battery system to change the current industry situation of high cost, slow charging, low energy density and low safety of existing power batteries. However, from the perspective of long-termism, innovation in the direction of battery chemical materials cannot be ignored. Thankfully, more battery manufacturers have realized this. The condensed matter battery of CATL, the OS high manganese iron lithium battery of CALB, the sodium ion battery of HINA battery, and the solid state battery of Waylon New Energy have all taken the first step in innovation. In addition to the above mentioned technical innovation that needs to inject more new power, the problem of upstream raw materials for batteries is still the stubborn disease that restricts the development of the power battery industry. The rising prices of upstream raw materials for batteries have had a considerable impact on power battery companies and even the entire new energy vehicle industry. It is no exaggeration to say that the battery manufacturers at this time, in addition to relying on the cost transmission of the supply chain themselves, have lost the ability to control costs. More than one car company and power battery company have appealed, hoping that the government can balance and adjust the existing upstream raw material market. In such an environment, the role of macro control will be the most direct and effective. On September 2, the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology held a press conference on promoting the high-quality development of the raw materials industry. At the meeting, Chin Kalong, Director of the Raw Materials Industry Department of the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, said that a linkage monitoring mechanism for key raw material prices will be established to guide the price stabilization of key products such as lithium carbonate and rare earth. The good news is that the intervention of the Chinese government will surely change the chaotic upstream raw material market. But what cannot be ignored is that other forces also want to seize a market share in the huge power battery market. Recently, Japan's public and private sectors said they would invest about 3.4 trillion yen, about 24.55 billion US dollars, to build a strong battery manufacturing base to enhance Japan's competitiveness in fields such as electric vehicles and energy storage. In this way, Toyota also plans to transform Japan's Shimoyama engine plant and Maiochi powertrain plant to produce power batteries. There is no doubt that China's battery manufacturers are indeed ahead in terms of the installed capacity of power batteries. But this does not mean that with the gradual development of the new energy vehicle market in Europe and the United States, there is no chance for Japanese and Korean power battery companies to counterattack. Moreover, there will be more and more local battery manufacturers in Europe and the United States with the support of local policies. In general, competition in the global power battery market is intensifying in various ways, and the global power battery system centered on Chinese companies still has a long way to go. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.